In this video, we will walk through how to get started on SageMaker Studio, including how to set up a domain, set up user profiles with permissions, and set up a space so your users can work collaboratively with each other in real time. Once you set up a domain, you'll be able to take advantage of the end-to-end -end machine learning features that Studio has to offer, including data prep at scale, access to hundreds of built-in algorithms with pre-trained models from popular model hubs, MLOps tooling, and much more. First, you'll need to set up a domain to access SageMaker Studio for your users. You only need to set up a domain once. A SageMaker domain consists of an elastic file system, EFS volume, a list of authorized users, and a variety of security, application, policy, and VPC configurations. You could have multiple domains within an account, allowing you to segregate lines of businesses, tailoring their security and VPC configurations. For instance, you may have a domain for your sales team's data scientists, another domain for your HR department. Each domain has a number of user profiles associated with it. A user profile represents a single user within a domain and is the main way to reference a person for the purpose of sharing, reporting, and other user-oriented features. This entity is created when a user onboards to SageMaker Studio. During that time, you will add the execution role for the user. Each user has their own dedicated directory on EFS, and there is no shared EFS directory between users of the same domain unless they are within a shared space. We recommend creating a user profile for each physical user of a SageMaker Studio application. Domains can also have shared spaces, which are communal versions of the Studio ID, allowing users assigned to that space to work collaboratively. The Studio IDE and UI will be the same for both the user version and spaces version. However, in the spaces version, multiple users will have access. They can work in the same notebooks in real time and share model artifacts seamlessly. To create a domain, click on Create Domain and walk through the steps of configurations. You can add users to domains once the domain is set up. To set up a shared space in your domain, click on Space Management and then Create. Once you have your domain, user profiles, and spaces created in the one-time setup, you can now access Studio. To launch a personal ID, you go to your user profile and then click on Studio. To launch a Spaces, click on Launch and then Spaces. As a user in the space, you will now be able to work collaboratively with your team. To see other users that are active in your space, you can click on the People icon. You can see here that I have another user in the notebook. And you'll be able to work with this user in real time. From the SageMaker Studio ID, you can now spin up notebooks, review your experiments, create machine learning pipelines, and much more.